Hey there, in this video we're going to take four methods for summing data and we're going to see which one of them is the fastest. So the first thing we need to understand is what exactly is summing data. So if you look at the data on the screen here you can see fruit and sales and you can see that there's individual records for each one of them. So what we want to do is we want to group all the sales of each one. So for example, apple, we want to get the total sales. For banana, we want to get the total sales. And for peach, we want to get the total sales. And we're going to try with four different methods in Excel VBA. So the four methods are the pivot table, the sum if, ADO, and the dictionary array. So let's look at the first one. So the first one we're going to look at is the pivot table. We take our data like this, we select insert and then we say pivot table and we're just going to put it on this worksheet I'm going to put it here and then we just add our row and we add our values and so this is what a pivot table is so we're going to call this pivot table in Excel VBA now before we start with the speed tests let's have a look at our data so I have randomly generated data here and this data has 200,000 records and it's got a thousand different users. So a thousand different full names and we're going to group by the full names and we're going to group orders and we're going to group amounts. So let's go ahead and look at the code. So you can see that I have a group and sum sub here and what the group and sum sub does is we basically select our method then we clear the data, then we go down further, we get the range, and then once we have that, we basically start the timer. And then we use the method we picked above to select the sub that we're going to run this time, and then after the sub is run, we basically print out the time that it took. Now let's pick the one we're going to use this time, and it's going to be pivot. So this is the code for a pivot table. And let's just go down and we can have a look and see. So we can get rid of this. We're not going to group by week. We're just going to group it very simply. And we don't need any column fields either. So we're just going to keep this very, very simple. And so that's basically the code that we're using for the pivot table. So let's go back up to our group and sub. And let's bring up our immediate window so we can see the results. And let's run the code and see what happens. So the code took about 2.7 seconds, which is pretty quick, all things considered. So let's enter this in our results table. So the way that our results table works is the fastest one or the quickest one ends up being 100%. And we work out how fast all the other ones are in comparison. So the next one we want to look at is the sum if. So what exactly is the sum if? So sum if is basically like the worksheet function you can see here, sum if. And let me just put apple here. So sum if is this worksheet function, and we basically give it a range. Now the range we're giving is this. And then we select the criteria, which is apple. We want to sum everything based on the current fruit. So in this case, it's, it's going to be Apple. And we want to sum the sales. So everything in the sales column. We click OK and you see we get 119. So that's what SUMIF is. Now SUMIF is a little more complicated to use. So let's go ahead and look at the code for SUMIF. So the problem with SUMIF, it sounds like a good idea in theory, but the problem is that we don't know in advance what the different categories or how many that we have. So what we have to do is we have to read through the list the first time and fill a dictionary with all the different full names. So basically we're getting all the unique values. We're getting a list without duplicates. And then once we have that, we run through the dictionary like here. And you can see we run the worksheet function on the columns we need to do. And then once the dictionary is updated, we basically just write out the dictionary to the worksheet. So it's a bit heavy handed, as you can see, but it's still worth trying this just to compare it to the others. 
So again, let's go and run the code for this. And we'll change this to some if. And let's bring up our immediate window. So you can see that it took 117 seconds for the sum if to run. So obviously I stopped the video while this was happening. Now the problem with sum if is that it has to keep going back to the range. And when something keeps going to the worksheet, it tends to be very, very slow. But still, it's always worth testing just to see exactly what it does. So let's throw the value in here to the sum if, and you can see that the way that I've done it on my chart is that sum if is 2% as fast as the pivot table. In other words, the pivot table method is 50 times faster. So let's have a look at some more of the competitors here, and let's see how does ADO stack up against sum if and the pivot table. So let's change our guy here to ADO. And we go to definition. And you see when we look at the ADO thing here. So what ADO actually is, is ActiveX data objects. So we use this when we're connecting to different databases. And in this case, we can treat an Excel worksheet like it's a database as long as it has records, it has its data in record form. So we basically just open up the connection and then we use our query string like this. And then we just create the record set, open the record set with the query and the connection, and then write the values to the worksheet using copy from record set. So let's go back to our tests and let's go to our group and sum method. Now we always click in here just to make sure it's at the end of the immediate window. And we're going to run this and see how long it takes to run. And it's taken a total of six seconds. So let's copy that into our sheet and we can see that it's slower than the pivot table. So you can see that it's about 43% the speed of the pivot table. Now one big advantage of ADO is that ADO can work on closed workbooks. So if you're doing something like this and you're opening lots of workbooks, then ADO is very useful. Now the last one that we're going to look at is the dictionary array. So the dictionary array is kind of the traditional way that we do that. So how does that compare to the ones we have already? And can it beat the top speed of the pivot table? So let's go and look, let's, we'll actually set it here first. And let's go and see what's involved in the array dictionary. And so this is the code for the array dictionary. So basically what we're doing is we create a dictionary and a dictionary is a structure that has a key and a value. So each key is unique like a real world dictionary. And the idea is that the value is like, can be anything. In our case, the value is going to be a class module because we want to store more than one value. So we have a dictionary and we basically go down and we say, does this item exist? If it doesn't, we add the item to the dictionary, giving it a unique key, which is the name of the person. And otherwise, we basically take the one from the dictionary that already exists and we update the values. So we basically just add to the current value. And then at the end, we'll have the total amount. And now when we're finished with that, we basically just go down to our dictionary and we basically write it out to the worksheet. And as I said, we use the array with this. So rather than reading from the worksheet, what I actually do at the top is we put the value in an array and then we read through the array and then at the very end we write it back to the array because that saves us let me just get rid of this because that saves us a lot of time okay so now we've seen what the use array dictionary is let's run it and see how it actually compares to the others so you can see that the value we got is basically one second now you can see this value is faster than all the other ones. So the fastest method that we've used is using the array and the dictionary. So let's paste it into our table here and just see what the final result looks like. So you can see that the dictionary way is a lot faster than any of the other methods. The pivot table is about one third as fast and ADO is about 15%. So we'll say dictionary array is about probably seven times faster. 
So having looked at the different methods, you can see that the dictionary array is clearly the fastest one. However, in some cases, maybe you prefer the pivot table because of the formatting it provides. And in other cases, if you don't want to open the workbook, then ADO might be the solution that you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this gives you some idea of the best method to use when you want to sum data. If you enjoyed this video, then click on the subscribe button to get notified of any upcoming videos and click on the link in the description below to get the free VBA cheat sheet on arrays and dictionaries. See you on the next video.